Are you a Windows user who doesn't feel at home using Linux? You realize that something is missing from your system, but you're not entirely sure what it is. Maybe it's the software support, maybe it's the UI, maybe it's just having a different bootloader, but none of that stuff sounds exactly right. Well, maybe what it is, is you don't have this really annoying watermark on your screen telling you to hand over your credit card every single time you use your system. Well, luckily for you, there is a solution. This is Activate Linux, which adds a watermark to your desktop that will follow you everywhere you go. If you go and swap desktops, it's always going to be there. If you go and open up a window, it's going to spawn on top of the windows. If you make the windows full screen, it's still going to be there. Even if you have multiple screens like I do, it is going to appear on every single one of the screens for that extra immersion and to make sure you can never escape. Sadly, because it does rely on your compositor for transparency, there are certain weird edge cases with certain compositors where it might not behave the way you'd expect. For example, when I full screen MPV, it temporarily disables my compositor on that screen so we get a black box around the window, but in every other situation, it works exactly like you expect. But ignoring that problem, maybe having it say activate Linux isn't as authentic of an experience as you would like. Well, luckily for you, it does have a couple of configuration arguments, not configuration options. They are positional arguments, which you wouldn't know from the app. You would have to go and check on the GitHub because it's kind of scuffed, by which I mean intelligently designed, we'll say. So if we run activate Linux with one positional argument, let's say Windows is bad. This is going to set the top line of text and there's going to be no bottom line. All right. So if we go and then run it again, but this time with two positional arguments, this is going to set the top line and then the bottom line. So let's say Linux is better. So you can basically have this say literally anything you want, but this will be getting to it being a little bit scuffed. So if instead of having two text arguments there, I have one positional argument, but I make this a number this is going to change the size of the watermark there. So one is going to be 100%. If we do 0.5, that is going to be 50%. So if we go to say two, for example, that is going to be 200%. And you can set this to be basically any size you want. Now the size of Activate Linux is going to be based on a 1080p screen. So if you're running this on a 4K screen, it's gonna look like it does at 0.5 out of the box. So you're probably going to want to go and change it up to something like 4, for example. But you can also go and combine these arguments together. So if I have these two text arguments, and then at the end I go and include a number, this is going to be the scale. So let's say I want this to be at 2, for example. So we're going to use this text at 200%. Positional arguments tend to get very messy very quickly, and that's why people generally tend to avoid them. But there's one more of them, and this one controls the color. I'll put my webcam down in the bottom corner here so you can actually see what I'm writing. So if we go and pass in 0-0-0-0, it's going to look like nothing is actually happening. But what this is doing is spawning the text with a color of 0 red, 0 green, 0 blue, but also 0 opacity. Now for the R, G, and B values, it doesn't take in a number from 0 to 255, instead it takes in a number from 0 to 1. So basically it takes in a decimal representation of those digits. There are plenty of calculators online to work out how to convert between the two formats. So let's say I want to have 0 0.5 on red, I want to have 0 0.8 on the green, and I want to have let's say 0 0.2 on the blue. And let's change the opacity to 1 so we can actually see it. And that gives us this like weird green looking color. I believe by default, the opacity is set to something like 0.7, but I'm not sure on the exact number at that time. But as you can see, it lets you set pretty much any color you want. Make sure you do include the dashes. They are very important to making sure this option actually works. Without the dashes, it probably will just crash. Now, if you couldn't tell by this point, obviously this project is just a joke. It's a fun joke, but it's still just a joke. But you might be wondering, hey, why does something like this exist? Well, that's very simple. Science isn't about why, it's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the bottom of the way out because you are fired? 
The version that I'm using is made with Xorg in mind, but if you're over on the Whalen side using something like Sway or anything else like that, it does work perfectly fine through X Whalen as well. But if you don't want to just run it through X Wayland, you do have another option. Someone actually has made a native Wayland version. It's not the exact same project. I don't believe it supports all of the exact same options, but you can go and run it there as well. Or if you really hate yourself and you're over on macOS, you can install the dependencies through Mac ports and get it working like that, which I had no idea was even a thing, but the option is available. As for all of the sensible people though, you probably have all of the dependencies installed already. If you don't, here's the dependency list. There is an Ubuntu PPA. It is available on the AUR. It is available on OpenSUSE through the open build system, or you can just download the source code and run make and it just works. Obviously, running this all the time is a terrible idea, and you shouldn't do it, because it's really annoying to have on your screen, and I don't want to see it. But if you want to maybe take a screenshot for a subreddit, you want to go and do some sort of dumb gag, hey, it's certainly going to help out with that. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What are you going to do with Activate Linux? Are you even going to run it? Do you think this is just a really super project that shouldn't exist? I would love to know. So if you like this video, everybody go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, Stone and Barrow, pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.